Hello guys, look at this netting bucket. It's very, very pretty, very beautiful, very elegant. This is pretty. You can take it wherever you want to. You can take it anywhere. It's a very beautiful bag. And this is what we'll be learning to make today. Hello everyone, welcome again for another tutorial. Look at this beautiful beaded bucket. Look at this. This is a netting bucket that I made. I made two versions of it. This is the white version and this is another version. I use black in the pearls. Look at the pretty. Please, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And also hit that notification button so that you don't miss any new video that will be uploading. And please don't forget to join the membership. Support is greatly appreciated. Let's jump right into the video. So on my table here, I have 12 millimeter pearls and I have 8 millimeter pearls over here. I'm going to use both together. This is my fishing line, 50 pound. And this is how it look like, fishing line. And this is my plier to cut any lines. So I'm going to start over here. We are going to start with six bead I put over here. These are six bead and I'm going to string it on the line. So let's start stringing. This is six bead on the line. And what we are going to do here, we are just going to tie the line. Tie to make a round circle with your bead. nice and neat and this is how it should look like now that we have these two lines at the same place I'm going to use this one to go through this bead so I can have both lines opposite to each other string it to the opposite direction and now both lines are on opposite side now pull it together I'm going to pull this line together and I'm going to use another 12 millimeter and I'm going to pull both lines through this pearl and pull and with this pearl I'm going to drop it right in the middle of the circle and pull and once again I'm going to open these two lines and cross both of them into the pearl so what I'm doing here, I'm opening the line and I'm going to cross both ends into this pearl and pull so I can have my line on the opposite direction. So I'm crossing this one onto the other opposite direction so I can continue my beading like this. This is how it's supposed to look like. Okay, now I'm stringing 8, 12, 8, 12 and 8. That's what we are going to start with, like this. You string it like this on the line and I'm going to cross the other line with the last bead and pull down. Now I'm going to go to the next bead, this one. So on the line, we are going to strain this line. I'm going to add 12, 12, 8, 12, 8 on the line. And I'm going to cross the 8 with the other line and pull down. Like this. Now I'm going to go through the next bead. And I'm going to add 12, 8, 12 8 to the line and pull the other line through the eighth and pull. I'm going to go through the next bead, this one, and I'll add the same number of bead and pull. So I'm adding the same number of bead. I'm adding 12, 8, 12, 8, and I'm going to cross. The other line into the eight and pull down I'm going to go through 
the next a the next 12 millimeter the next bead 12 8 12 8 and cross your end into the A and pull so over here I'm going to go through the last bead this is the last bead I'm going to go through and I'm going to go through this one too and the number of bead I'm going to add is this one I'm going to draw 12 first 8 and 12 to complete that circle okay now let's continue to I'm going to go through the next bead this one into the next bead Eight, twelve, twelve, and eight on the line, and cross your other line into the eight and pull. So I'm going to go through the next eight. And add to eight. This is the number of beads I'm going to add. 12, 12, and 8. Go to the next two bead. And add this number of bead. And cross it with the other line. Now go to the next bead. And add this bead, the number of bead, 12, 12, and 8 on the line. And cross the other line into the 8 and pull. Now into the next two bead twelve, twelve and eight, and cross the other line into the eighth and pull. This line into the next bead. So we are using the same number of bead again. We are going to cross the other end into the eight and pull. Next two bead. Same number of bead. And cross the other line into the eight and pull. I'll go to the next bead, that's the eight millimeter, and add your bead onto the other line, the same number of bead. Go to the next two bead. Add the same number of bead. Cross the other line into the eight and pull. Now into the next bead, the eight, hole, the eight millimeter. Adding the same number of bead. 
So over here my line is short, I can continue. So I'm going to tie over here, tie nice and neat. And then I'm going to weave the rest of the line back into the bead. Make sure it's well secured enough before I cut it off. I'm just weaving the rest of the line into the bead and cut it. So here's a fresh line that I cut. I'm going to go through this 8mm over here. 8mm. Go through it. And I'm going to go through the next two pearls. The next two 12 millimeter, I'm going to go through them. This is the first one and the second one. And pull. And I'm going to add the same number of beads we are adding. go through the next two eight millimeter so this is the first one and the second one I'm going to go through it and the number of beads I'll be adding is two 12 millimeter this complete the circle so we are going to continue again so let's continue with this line I'm going to go through the next bead I'm going through the 12 millimeter and we are going to make another circle around this one so this is the number of bead I'm going to add to my line it start with 8 12 8 12 and 8 and cross the other line into the 8 and pull. This is how you put it on the line before you cross into the 8 tool, the 8 millimeter. And I'm going to go through the next two bead. And this is the number of beads I'll be adding. This is how you put it on the line and cross the other line into the 8 millimeter. I'm going to go to the next two beads. This is the number of beads I'll be adding. This is how you put it on the line. And pull. Next two beads. You add 12, 8, 12, and 8 on the line. Now into the next two bead. You add the same number of bead and cross the other line into the eighth and pull. Into the next two bead. the same number of it 12 8 12 and 8 and cross your other line into the 8 and pull now into the next two bead
you add the same number of bead cross into the eighth and pull I'm going to go through the next two bead and I'll be adding 12 8 12 8 cross the other line into the eighth and pull like this pull it down next two twelve eight twelve eight cross into the eighth and pull So over here I'm going through the last two bead. I'm going to this and this one and I'm going to go through the eight millimeter over here the corner over here I'm going to go through it too so pull the line through it and the number of bead you add is 12 8 12 8. so you go through all the four and add this number of bead to your line So over here, so this is the last row. I'm just going to tie over here to make sure the base is well secured before we continue to bead. I'm just tying here in the middle. And the rest of the line, I'm going to weave it a little bit into the bead and trim it off. This is how it should look like if you complete this stage so now let's continue I'm going to go through this 8 millimeter over here and I'm going to start off with four flower so I'm going to add one one bead on each line and I'm going to cross my both ends into the third bead and pull and pull down like this so this is the flower first flower that we have and now we are going to make a bigger flower again so I'm stringing one one twelve millimeter eight and twelve on each line and I'm going to cross both ends into 8 millimeter pearl. And pull. This is how it should look like. And now, this is how it's looking like. We are going to repeat the same flower we did over here to this one too. So on each line, I'm going to add one one bead on each line and I'm going to cross both ends into this one and pull just like that so we are going to repeat the bigger flower again like this we are going to cross both ends into 8 millimeter and pull and now we are going to repeat the same flower over here too again the little flower we are going to repeat over here so one one bead on each line and cross both ends of your line into the third bead and pull this is the yeah, this is how it should look like this is how the design is going to look like this is the third flower we are making and we are going to cross both ends into this eight millimeter pearl
now I'm going to make a little flower here again this is how it's looking like now we have to make one more big flower on it so we have four we are going to create four this is the fourth one we are going to make So I'm going to make the little flower on top of this one again. So pick three bees, put one one on each line and cross it both ends into the third bead and pull. Just like that. So now what we are going to do here, now we have one, two, three, four. So we have four bigger flowers, okay? Now this line, we are going to work our way and come to the side bead over here. Make your way and come to the side bead. And now we are going to go through this bead. Now into the middle bead. I'm going to go through the 12 hole. So I can get into the eight millimeter. 12 millimeter then I come to 8 millimeter now the other line I'm going to work my way round this one into this bead then I come and cross my line on the opposite side of the bead so I'm going through all this bead over here on the side make sure you are pulling your thread as you weave through come to the side bead so I'm coming through this 8mm over here and pull both ends of your line tight so we are going to continue our beading and over here we are going to continue to make our little flower that we are making so I'm going to add three beads on this line and I'm going to cross the other line into the last bead and pull so with this line I'm going to go through this this and this one so this line I'm going to string on my line I'm stringing 12 8 12 and eight and I'm going to cross the other end of my line into the eight so now we are going to create another flower again this line I'm going to go through the 8 mm over here And I'm going to string two beads to complete that flower. So with this line, Go through this spur, this and this one. Now into the 12. Into 8. And you come through the 12. And now this line, this is the number of beads you have to add. 
and cross the last B with the other end of your line and pull like this now with this line I'm going through the last bead this is the the 8, 8 mm and I'm going to add two bead to complete that flower So this line, I'm going to this, this, and this one. Now you add this number of beads to the other line and cross this line into the last bead and pull. Go to the next bead and make your little flower add two beads to the line cross the other end of your left line into this one and pull so now we are going to go to this this and this bead these two beads on the circle we are going to go through them these two We'll go through the 12, 8 and 2, 12. And on the other line, so we uh, we stop in the 12 or on the other line, this is the number of bead you add to complete that row. So now I'm going to go through this 8 millimeter over here. And I'll add two bead. So this is the flower that we start to create. Again, now this line go to this, this, and this one. Now this line, this is the number of bead you add, 12, 8, 12, 8. Cross into the 8, 8 millimeter and pull. Now this line go through the 8 millimeter. So the number of bead I'm going to add here. Two eight millimeter. Now I'm going to go through this, this, and this one. And I'll be adding this much to the line. Now into the 8 millimeter. You add two bead. Go to this, this and this one. And on the other line, add this number of bead. So 
go to the 8 millimeter add two bead go to the next bead and add two bead Now here I'm going to go through the 12 and the 8. So both lines, this is what I add to the lines. And I'm going to cross my left line into the 8 millimeter and pull. So now I'm going to add one one bead on each line and cross both ends of my line into this 8 o into this 8 millimeter. I'm going to work my way again into the bead and come to the side bead. So now I'm coming through the side bead. Now on the, the other line, I'm going to work my way again into the lines and come to the side. I'm working my way into the bead over here, like how we did for the first one. So I'm working my way into this bead round this flower and I'm coming into the side bead over here so we can continue our beading so we start our tail row add this number of bead and cross your line into the last bead and pull Now on this line, one, two, three, I'm going to go through them. The line in the bead, this line, I'm adding this number of bead. I'll go to the next bead, this one. Add two. This line, you add two, two bead, two eighths millimeter. Cross the other line into the last bead and pull. So here, I'm going to go through this bead, this bead, and this one. And on this line, this number of bead I'll add to the line. And now into the next bead, this line I'm going to go to the 8 millimeter over here. And I'm going to add two 8 millimeter to complete my little flower. Like that. So here, my line is short. I'm just weaving the rest of the line, pulling it tight into the bead to make all this secured, nice and neat before I trim it off. So over here, I'm just weaving the rest of the line into the bead. So this is a fresh line. This is the fresh line that I cut. And I'm going to go through this eight over here into the 12, the 8 and the 12. I'm going through the 12, all of them and this line, this is the number of bead I'm adding, 12, 8, 12, 8. Then I'm crossing the other line into the 8 mm. 
and pull. Now this line into the eight. And I'm going to add on this line two eight. Now I'm going to go through this line 12, 8, and 12, these two over here. This one. So on my line, this one, this is the number of bead I'm adding. So with this line, I'm going to go through the ATMM over here. So I can create my little flower over here again. I'm going through this eight and I'm going to add two eight bead to complete that flower. Now this line I'm going to go through this, this and this bead. left line this is what I'm adding we are going to continue weaving the same way I'm going to go through this 8-0 this line to 8 so we can make another flower over here again I'm going to go through this, this, and this bead. And on my left line, I'm going to add 12, 8, 12, 8. Now go to the 8 again. and add to A to complete that flower. I'll go to the 12, 8, and 12. You add this match 12, 8, 12, and 8. Now go to the 8 mm and add to 8. complete the little flower. I go to the 12 and the 8 on the side. And this is the number of bead you add to both lines to complete that row. Now on each line, add one one bead to each line and cross both ends of your line into the third bead. We are going to work our way through and come to the side bead like how we did for the first and second row. That's what we are going to do. So we are going to work our way right here to the side bead. So we are going to start another roll again. Now I'm making my flower again. So I put three eight on the line and I'm crossing it into the last bead to make my little flower. Now I'm going to go to this three bead over here. And on the other line, this is the number of bead I pick. And I go through the 8-0 until you come. 
this is how you are going to continue to repeat the same thing around the circle until we complete it you repeat the same thing you repeat over and over so I'm going to continue with the third row and I'll meet you here this is how the netting is looking like this is how it's looking like this is the back of it this is the back view very beautiful very good design so I'm going to continue to complete that row to make the fourth row we are going to continue around the circle until we complete then we stop on the 2B over here I'm just going to tie the first tie over here then I'll continue my weaving we tie tie knit and tie okay we are about to finish with our netting bucket so over here I'm going to go to this two bead and continue the weaving we are going to make one more row and we put the two ends together and join them I'm going to this two bead over here and this is the bead I'm adding to the left line and I'm going to go through this bead over here the ATEM and this line I'm adding to bead going to go through this 12 8 and 12 this into the 12 and I'm adding this much I'm adding 12 8 and 12 I'm adding two eight to the line and I'm crossing the other line into it and pull to just complete this flower we've been making this is how we are going to continue until we complete this row over here so I'm going to go through we leave these two over here to join the the bag okay now it's complete this is how we are going to join it both ends we are going to join them together This is my line. This is the fresh line that I cut. So I'm going to go through this two bead, this and this. Then we come into the other bead. This over here on the line, we are going to go through all this flower bead over here. So I'm going to go through the 12 first, come to it, into the 12. Those two 12 over there, going to go through this one, go through eight, and come to the 12. So I'm going to add eight to the line and pull both my lines into the eight. So this is where our line is, okay? It's in the 12 millimeter, like this. Now add one eight and cross both ends of your line into it and pull. Now this line, I'm going to go to the eight, this one too, into the next eight. Add one bead. This is one eight, cross both ends of your line into the eight and pull. Going through this 12 again into the 8 
and into the 12. And on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go through the 12, 8, and 12. So I'm crossing my both ends into this 8. Then I'm going to go through both 8 on the side. I'm going to use my left line. Let me adjust this camera nice. I'm going to use this end to go to this eight on the side and the other line I'm going to go through the eight on the side I'm crossing my both ends into another eight to create the flower over there So I'm going to go through the same thing again, the line into this and this bead. And cross both ends of your line into the eight. Go through both eight on the side with both lines. Then you cross your line again into another eight to complete the flower. Cross both ends of your line into it to complete the flower. And now the last flower, the bigger flower, we are going to go through all the beads that we are going through. Add one eight and cross both ends of your line into it. Go through both eight on the side with your line. Go through each one with your line. And cross both ends of your line into the eight and your bag is complete so here i'm going to tie it and with the rest of the line into the bead i'm tying two times or you can even tie it three times to make sure it's well secured enough so for the rest of this line i'm just going to weave it back into the bead and trim it off This is how the netting bucket is looking like. This is the inside of it, it's big. And this is the outer part of it. This is so beautiful. This is a very, very beautiful bag. Look at the edge of the bag. The edge is looking like a crown. It's a very, very beautiful netting bucket. You can make it too. You can make it for yourself. You can make it for friends. Okay, now our handle is done. I'm going to show you how we are going to put the handle on the bag. So I'm going through this bead and make my way onto the top bead, into the eighth row. With the tail, I'm tying it over here on the bag. So it doesn't slip out of the bead when I start to pull. We are going to secure it and I'm going to go through a couple of beads before I trim it off. Go to this, into this and come to the top bead. Okay, now that I'm in the top bead, this is the number of bead we are going to add. I'm going to put 12 first and 8 in the middle then I'm going to pull the chain on the line first and I'm going to add the last 12 and the last 12 millimeter then I'm going to go through this 8 on the top and pull so over here this is how it's looking like we put the one handle on it you see it completes the set the, the flower that we are making in the bag so I'm going to go through all this bead over here into the rest of the bead I'm going to go to this one I'm going to go to the next one and with the rest of my line into the bead
and I'm tying over here I'm tying this end to into the bead over here to make sure it's strong enough so the line will not slip out of the bead so make sure you you tie yours nice this is how it's looking like the first handle is done we put it on the first place and we are going to continue to do the same for the second side so just measure your middle to know where you are going to put the second handle it has to land in the middle so over here I'm going to attach mine on this row over here these two rows that's where I'm going to attach it and it's done our beaded netting bucket is done this is how it's looking like this is the handle we made and this is the beaded bucket this is the netting beaded bucket if the handle is long for you you can make it short for yourself and this is the other version that I've made how beautiful it looks like this is this version is so beautiful so you can make the color choices for yourself you can choose which color to make for your own thank you for watching thank you for your time and i'll see you here again in my next video bye